Brisbane-based global travel agency Flight Centre posted a half-year net profit compared to a loss in the prior year and said it would increase its guidance amid solid travel demand. Flight Centre's Managing Director Graeme Turner said, At a time when discretionary budgets are typically tightening, travel remains an outlier and a priority spend for many. That was helped by a 13% fall in international airfares over the period and more domestic capacity returning to the domestic market, Mr Turner added. Ongoing solid travel demand has been aided by continued low unemployment in key markets and a desire among regular travels to make up for lost time after COVID lockdowns. Going through the numbers, the online travel planner said statutory net profit was $86.6 million in the six months through the December versus a roughly $20 million loss in the prior year. That compares to market expectations for net profit of $67 million as assessed by FactSet. Revenue is $1.29 billion, a lift of 28%. Underlying profit before tax improved by a whopping 565% to $106.2 million. Travel agents generally record only their commission as statutory revenue, though many will disclose total gross receipts in their accounts as total transaction value, or TTV. In the case of Flight Centre, the travel agent reported that TTV rose by 15% to $11.3 billion, delivering its second strongest start to a year behind only the financial year 21st half year result. Flight Centre said both its leisure and corporate travel businesses posted a solid result in the half. Corporate total revenue jumped 19% to $542 million, with corporate TTV up 16.8%, notching a new record $5.9 billion for the six months. Leisure total revenue soared 33% to $626 million, underlying profit before tax exceeded pre-pandemic levels, and total transaction value rose by 18%. Managing Director Graham Turner said, We are seeing ongoing solid demand for leisure and corporate travel, leading to our second strongest start to a year in TTV terms and accelerated activity in January and February ahead of our busiest trading months. Flight Centre's capital expenditure for the six months came in at $49 million. This was primarily focused on technology and systems intended to enhance productivity and customer experience. Among the big news for the half was the opening of recently acquired UK-based luxury leisure travel business Scott Dunn in New York. This gives Flight Centre a US East and West Coast presence. The company said that Scott Dunn continues to trade in line with expectations and will generate the bulk of its financial year 2024 profit during its peak second half booking periods. Looking ahead, Flight Centre said that the fiscal second half so far was performing in line with expectations. It said it would increase its guidance for financial year 2024 underlying profit before tax to between $300 million and $340 million, up from between $270 million and $310 million. It said that upgrade reflects a change in the measurement of convertible note amortisation rather than trading performance. Overall, total transaction value is on track to surpass the record $23.7 billion achieved during financial year 2019. Flight Centre also said it welcomed the fall in airfares and expects gradual volume increases as fares become more affordable, particularly for families. It added that after four years of disruption and then gradual recovery, 2024 is set to be a watershed for the travel industry with various industry bodies such as the IATA. Predicting the new calendar year will surpass 2019 as the busiest 12 months ever for travel. Flight Centre declared a fully frank dividend of 10 cents per share, which is reinstated after payouts were suspended during the pandemic. Overall, there are some positive lead indicators for Flight Centre, including increasing airline capacity, falling airfares, which should stimulate demand, and the potential for corporate travel to continue its post-COVID recovery. But investors weren't impressed with the result, with shares of Flight Centre falling as much as 7.4%, the most since June last year, after the travel agent reported earnings that adjusted the treatment of convertible notes and losses tied to shuttered US business unit GoGo. Thanks for your time.